When I first saw the viral clip of the mysterious LeBron James time traveler seen here in the background, I immediately was like, damn, I probably should have waited a few more weeks to make that NBA time traveler video that I recently just did. Even I was a little spooked about just how much this man resembled LeBron James. I mean, same body type, same beard shape, similar style. He even eats popcorn the same way LeBron does too, with his left hand and everything. Some people thought that maybe LeBron hired a doppelganger for Halloween just to freak people out. Which is exactly what it had people doing, freaking out. There was also the possibility that it could have been his stunt double from Space Jam 2, who had decided to attend the game. Andrews was a slam dunking star for Bradley's Sweet 16 team 15 years ago, and he's about the same size as LeBron James, so perhaps it's not that big a stretch that a Bradley Brave is now the body double for one of the NBA's all-time greats. I'm making my living, you know, my career is doing stunt work, acting. And you know, there was some people out there who suggested that maybe it was his clone. Yeah, I know, that's obviously extremely unlikely. But I did come across this video of a guy who is basically identical to LeBron in the face. It's just that his body doesn't match up at all. Spencer Battles may only be 5 feet 11 inches tall, but when he's out in public, people turn to the full court press. Somebody saying, hey man, you look like LeBron James. I, mean, I stop him, they say, you know, look at the hairline, look at the teeth, the smile. And I'm like, really? All jokes aside, it turns out that the LeBron lookalike is actually just former NBA player Patrick Christopher, who was also the older brother of current Rockets rookie Josh Christopher. And once we got a more clear view of him, we could see that he doesn't really look much like LeBron at all, or at least not as much as he did from this angle. Believe it or not, they've actually known each other since 2007, when he was a counselor at LeBron's basketball camps. Patrick spent most of his time as a professional basketball player overseas and in the D-League. However, he did manage to appear in a few games for the Utah Jazz back in 2015. But his NBA dream would be short-lived after sustaining a knee injury only into his fourth game. Rookie on a cow. His dream was realized, Matty, when he signed with the Jazz back on December 10th. Iowa Energy of the D-League. He played with Gobert, by the way, in France. Well, this just makes my heart sink. Oh, me I too. Mean, it oh. just makes my heart sink. This guy, what a story. He made it. He made it to his dream. But it's okay because he would bounce back in a big way off the court. He's now currently a fashion designer. In fact, he actually designed this shirt that LeBron wore in the bubble that was in honor of George Floyd. He was also behind the creation of this Kobe and Gianna hoodie that LeBron wore during the 2020 All-Star Draft. So it's crazy to learn that he wasn't just a random guy. He actually has history with LeBron and was definitely a fun moment for both of them. I do have to admit that quickly identifying who he was, therefore nipping the whole time traveler thing in the butt, was kind of a bummer. Not that I want actual time travelers wandering around, but it's just that it took away the mystery factor in all of this. I thought it would have been more interesting had it remained a mystery. You know, to keep us wondering a little bit about who he is. But I guess we know the answer now. Now, that wasn't the first time an NBA doppelganger was spotted. Remember when Luca's clone literally interacted with him while he was sitting in the front row? Luca! We're twins! We're twins! <laughs> and when James Harden looked like he saw a ghost after this funny encounter with his lookalike. <laughs> And who could forget when Steph came face to face with two other Currys? Steph lookalikes!
I'm obviously not claiming they're time travelers or anything like that, but that's still pretty creepy just knowing that there could be someone out there that looks exactly like you. I could literally name like 10 other times when people confused other people for NBA players, but I'ma just end the video here. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed, and of course, feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.